The fact that the grain agreement between Ukraine, Turkey, the UN and Russia will continue to work was announced by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan during a meeting of G20 leaders. Now I believe that the grain agreement will be extended. There are no problems with this. As soon as we return, we will continue our negotiations, especially with Putin, because the path to peace lies through dialogue. The next day a decision was made in Istanbul to extend the terms of the grain agreement for another 120 days. This was announced by the Minister of Infrastructure of Ukraine Oleksandr Kubrakov. The United Nations and Turkey remained guarantors of the initiative. Ukrainian agricultural exports remain an effective tool for countering the global food crisis. Oleksandr Kubrakov, Minister of Infrastructure of Ukraine on Facebook. Why Russia agreed to speak frankly? Because today in Russia there were no arguments to say that the grain corridor should not work. Moreover, we see how Turkey threw out the time when Russia was looking for all sorts of moments to suspend in the grain corridor, found and showed that it is still necessary for the agreement to work. Russia has already tried to disrupt the export of Ukrainian grain. On October 29th, the Russian Defense Ministry announced that it was suspending the grain agreement after explosions on warships of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation in temporarily occupied Sevastopol. These statements were ignored. Ukraine, the UN and Turkey agreed on the movement of 14 ships in the Black Sea and on November 2nd, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the resumption of its participation in the grain agreement. Even when Russia suspended its participation in the Grain Corridor on October 29th, having an agreement with the UN and Turkey, we still fulfilled the obligations that we assumed. So even if Russia once again takes some actions that will lead to the fact that the Grain Corridor may stop, the agreement signed by Ukraine, Turkey and the UN, they will be valid, they will work and we will export. The Minister of Infrastructure of Ukraine noted that the results achieved through the first stage of the grain agreement need to be improved. Ukraine has already sent an appeal to the partners on the initiative with the call to increase the duration of the agreement by at least a year, as well as to include the port of Mykolaiv in the list. Now there are negotiations on opening at least one port of Mykolaiv. It is very efficient, it is very infrastructurally developed. Before the war, about 30% of the food that came from the territories of Ukraine went through the port of Mykolaiv. So this would really be an additional tool to increase the amount exported from the territory of Ukraine. Thanks to the Grain Export Agreement, which was signed on July 22 in Istanbul, Ukraine exported more than 11 million tons of agricultural products. It was delivered to 38 countries of the world. The first stage of the grain deal ends on November 19. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Bil, UATV News.